Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Mark and welcome back to our FIFA 21 Hamburg Road to Glory career mode. If you missed the previous episode, we started our journey and we picked up a win in the first game of the season against Braunschweig. I do believe it was Braunschweig. And in that episode, we lost a player already. It was Kinsombi. He had his release clause activated and he went, I think, for about 3 million. So... We, well, I asked you for some players, uh, for centre midfielders, and I picked up two of them. Here's one of them, Emil Bohinen, Bohinen, uh, plays for s football, I have no idea. Um, and uh, yeah, as you see, we're scouting him, there's seven days left on the scout, so we'll go over him more when that scout report comes in. And here's another one, Joris Chotard, again, uh, about four days left, well, not about, there is four days left on the scout and again we'll go over it more in detail probably in the middle of the episode after the first game um so we'll go over it then and i've also got a few more players who uh, i think we are probably going to get in as well there's a there's two more strikers in there two young strikers and there is another uh, young uh, central midfielder so uh, we'll go over them probably after the first game. Well, whenever they're all finished scouted, I'll go over them all then. So yeah, here's what we're going to do today. We are going to play Sand... I have no idea uh, in the... Oh shit, well, have I just clicked? Bad thing about that calendar. I can't... I don't know who we're playing. There we go, that's a better one. So what we're going to do is we're going to play SV Sandhausen for the first game. We are then going to go into the DFB Pokal and play Darmstadt 98. Another SV. How many SVs are there? And then we are going to play this game as well. I don't know what game that is. I really wish there was another way of seeing the calendar. Because now on the on on the calendar in the game, it's got that at the side. Which is really annoying. Because <laughs> I normally, you know, last year it popped up on the side like what the games were and you know if it, if we were in England I'd know straight away but because we're in the second league of the Bundesliga I don't know who any of these teams are I know that's St. Pauli because I know that's the Hamburger Derby which we'll do next episode by the way so let's get into the game shall we kick it off against SV Sandhausen both of us as you can see there from the standards picked up a win in the first game of both of our seasons uh, but we are looking to pick it up and be uh, we want 100%. Well, we're going invincible. Maybe not invincible, but near enough. Let's get into the first game at home so we finally get to see the Volkspark Stadion. Let's do it, boys. Oh, look at this, boys. The Volkspark Stadion looks absolutely delightful. The dinosaur of the Bundesliga isn't quite in the Bundesliga yet. But we are going to make it our goal to get that old dinosaur back up to the top league of German football. Alright, so for the second episode in a row, my Ogato has decided to freeze uh, at about 10 minutes in. So I feel like I may need a new one. And uh, the only thing that you've missed is me actually talking about our starting eleven. Uh, so we've gone with Ulrich and Gaul, a back four of Leibold, the big ball bastard at the back, Jung and Giamara. Midfield three is Dudziak, Jazula and Pospisil. And then top three is Kittle, Luis Suarez, not that one, and Jatta. And just in case you don't believe me, I'm going to click resume match. And uh, there, we're going to see their team sheet now. Here we go. Freisel in goal. Back three of Zerov, Nalba and Rossola. I assume we're going to have wing backs. Yes, we are. Quahim, Penezwana, Linsmeyer and Turpit, Halimi. And then I assume there's somebody up top. Kate Ruel and Behrens. That's all you've missed. Me talking about our starting 11. Because I don't know whether I keep knocking a wire or my Elgato just hates recording for more than 10 minutes at a time all right so we are going to get this game kicked off and we are underway let's do this boys the volkspark stadion for the first time let's christen it with a win jazula up to pospazil pospazil to louis suarez through on goal it's one nil and louis suarez has his first goal for the dinosaur of the Bundesliga. Can you call him the dinosaur of the Bundesliga anymore? I don't think you can. But there you go. Uh, first start in front of the home fans. And he saved his first goal for this occasion. Throw on goal. Played him by Pospisil, I think it was, who played the ball. He just takes it forward. Back across the keeper. Into the bottom right. And on about the 10 minute mark. Luis Javier Suarez has his first 
goal for the club and he's buzzing about it and now they have a free kick just outside the box are they going to try something here the number seven rolls it over is he going to lay it off no he's not he's gone for the shot all right can't hold it and now they are going to get on the seconds uh the, our defenders they're very slow to react to that loose ball but we do come away with it in the end and now here's jatter bursting down this right hand side look at the pace of him the sandhausen defenders can't keep up put it in the middle towards luis suarez and he's got his second after a brilliant breakaway from a sandhausen attack and hamburg are in complete control of this game it all comes from chatter down this right hand side he picks it up i think he picked it up inside his own half and he just did not stop running he just went and went and went, found Suarez on the volley. It's a sweet as a nut volley from about five yards out. He's not really going to miss, but Luis Suarez on his home debut. What a way to introduce yourself to the Hamburg fans. Dudziak again, he's still going. Ah, that defender just got mauled. Dudziak lays it Why? That's a bit of a hospital ball, but we've still got it. Is Dudziak to Suarez. Let's it run. Oh, Suarez, he's got it! Luis Javier Suarez has got the hat-trick within 33 minutes. He's got his third goal. And wow, this is turning out to be a spectacular first impression. Got to think those fans who couldn't travel to the, away, to the away game for the first game. This is the first time they've seen him in the flesh. And what a way to introduce yourself. Three goals on his home debut. This man could be lethal. <laughs> Kittle up towards Pospisil now. The way Suarez is going, you've got to think he might want to get in. And he's goals and that's a penalty all day long. Wow, Nauber there just cannot deal with Pospisil. And we saw this in the first game of the season. Pospisil is one of those players who just drags fouls out of players. And he's done it there again. A few fake step overs and now that uh, bald guy, not our big ball bastard at the back, that one. Just could not handle it. And Pospisil has um, has forced him down. Now Suarez has already got his hat-trick. So we are going to give this to Pospisil. He's not the best at penalties. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to try and fake the keeper. Oh look at me. I'm going bottom right. Pranked? Oh I've sent him as well. Pospisil has his first goal for the club. And what a day this is turning out to be. Hamburg running riot in this game and we haven't even reached half time. Linsmeyer just about gets away from Dudziak. Not this time though, he does well to uh, keep the pressure up. And now can we break away Leibold to Suarez, Suarez to Giamara. Giamara in the middle to Pospisil, we're breaking away again. Pospisil finds Kittle. Kittle just about gets around his man. Kittle goes for it back across. It's a save from the keeper, but that we are gonna keep that in. Suarez back to Giamara to Jazzler, to Dudziak. Oh, it's another good save from the keeper, that corner. Let's put this towards Big Ball Bastard at the back. Oh, no, it's towards Jung. Jung with a great header. Just wide of the post. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, big save. Corner in. Oh, we got in front of him. Ooh, oh, oh, that is a bit slimy. <laughs> that's a bit of a, of a scruffy one, that. Catch it on the volley. Are you really giving this one the 360 all angles replay? It's a bit of a dodgy one. Leobald to Kittle. Back to Leobald. It's a good one too between them. Leobald up to Dudziak. Back to Leobald. He's pulling the strings as Leobald right now. In the middle to Pospisil. Just about lays that off towards Dudziak. Dudziak now gets it on to his right. In towards Pospisil. Just about. Oh, it's Suarez. Oh, there you go. Luis Suarez has Hamburg's fifth and his fourth of the game. Wow. What a home debut. Bit lucky there with how that's fell. But uh, Suarez there on his toes, on his feet. Johnny on the spot. Quick as a flash. It's Pospisil now. Goes wide to Xavier Amechi. Young English player. He was already had him by him. <laughs> Jazzler. Good first touch in the middle. Why didn't... Alright then. Pospisil's there. I was expecting uh, Terrible to get on that. Is that his name? Uh, he just let it go. <laughs> I don't know why he's let that run. All right, so the final whistle is about to blow. Hamburg have won this one. 6-1. There's the final whistle. And uh, I'll tell you what. I couldn't have asked for a better 
home debut and neither could that man. Luis Javier Suarez takes home the match ball. Four shots, four goals for Suarez. So not only was he was he a beast in front of the goal, he was clinical in front of it as well. All right, so we played Darmstadt in the first round of the DFB Pokal next. And I assume they're in our league because I couldn't find them. Yes, there they are. They're currently sitting in sixth. Won one and drew one at the start of this season. All right, so let's get into this German Cup game, shall we? We're at home again against Darmstadt, 1898. I couldn't read the number there. Uh, we'll just call him Darmstadt for now. So let's get into this, boys. Uh, see if we can advance to uh, the next round, because I don't really know when the Bundesliga side come in. I think it's round two or somewhere around there. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we go through here. We get a game against one of the big sides and, uh, you know, we get that experience of, uh, of taking one of them on. So, let's get into this then. Hamburg versus Darmstadt at the Volkspark Stadion. Let's do it. All right, then here we go back at the Volkspark Stadion as we take on Darmstadt in the DFB Pokal, uh, otherwise known as the German Cup. All right, so we're going with, uh, oh God, it's changed. Fernandez in goal. The uh, start 11 screen's changed from the cup, so I wasn't really expecting that. Wagnerman, uh, Drongelen, David and Liable as a back four. Dudziak and Hunt uh, with Quarteng as a cab. Kittle on the left. Tarod through the middle and Xavier Ametri on the right-hand side. Quite a few making uh, a debut there. Uh, like I said earlier, we're just playing a few fringe players just to get the match sharpness up. And here is how Darmstadt are starting. Schuen in goal. Uh, I don't really know any of these players, so I'm going to wait for it to come on so I know what formation they're going with. Holland, Horn, Rapp and Bader as a back four. Paulsen as a defensive midfielder. Manu Kempe, Park Sung Hyo and Skarki. And then Platte up top. That wasn't Park, that said Pike, I've just realised. All right then, boys. Let's do this. Tarod or Tarodi to get this game underway. And we are off. Let's do this, boys. Around, uh, around a place in the second round awaits the winner. Let's make sure it's us. Back to Kittle. I mean, look at the state of this. Dudziak to Quarte. Up to Xavier. And Mechi, he's through, but he's blocked. Now, will they look to break? I assumed, I thought they were going to do that. Just absolutely boot it long towards the striker. Because that will be their game plan if that's how they're going to play. His Skark, they are actually looking quite dangerous coming forward right now. Put it in the middle. That's a terrible block. But there you go. We're away again. And now maybe we might need to play on the counter if that's how they're going to play. That's a lovely ball by Quarting over to Tarod. You saw the power bar above his head, right? You saw me charging up the pass. And then you saw him just completely fucking ignore me. All right, he's Kempe for Darmstadt. Plays in the middle to Platt. Wow, they've just carved me open. And Platt gets the opening goal. It's completely undeserved, let's be honest. The playing, you know, it's not the way that we've all came to love German football. You know, German football is just all attack. You know, no defence, just vibes. That's the way that German football goes. But uh, Darmstadt have just decided, nah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, fast football. We're just going to park the bus. David gets it away to Kittle, up to Tarod, to Quarteng. Going to have to go back to Tarod. There we go. There's no real options. Wow, this is boring. Fuck me. Darmstadt playing some of the most boring football I've ever fucking seen. They're just parking the bus. They've parked the bus from the fucking first whistle, for fuck's sake. It's Quarteng to Dudziak. Gonna have to go back to Quarteng. Look at the state, man. They're playing with a back fucking seven, pretty much. Kittle to Quarteng to Dudziak. Back to Quarteng. Quarteng now, bit of a gap. Opens up in the middle. He bursts through it. There you go. Stick that up your fucking hole, you bastard. Straight towards... Oh, he's shushing him. Oh, Quarteng's got a bit of sass. We needed that. I don't know what happened with their back line, but you just see the, the gap open up, 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 opening up there, if I could say that. <laughs> Quarteng just bursts through, puts it back across. I mean, he's being fouled there, if we're being honest. Defender's got hands all over him, but Quarteng just holds him off, fires it back across, and we are level. Man, who now got Holland on the overlap. Holland now being really well uh, held up there by Wagnerman. And now off 
goes at Xavier Amechi. What can we do from this? Amechi plays it in field to Tarod. Tarod to Dudziak. Dudziak to Kittle. Gets it onto his right. There you go. The turnaround is complete from Hamburg. And it's Kittle with the goal from 1-0 down to 2-1 up. And it's two really quick fire goals. And there you go. Once we break that line, we are deadly. It's a good play from Dudzi out there to spot the man in behind. And Kittle, nobody marking the winger. And he just gets it onto his right. Gives the keeper the eye. Fires it into the top right corner. And Hamburg take the lead for the first time in this match. Kittle now to Dudziak. Dudziak to Leobald. Leobald now goes back to Hunt. Hunt. Up to Kittle again. He wants to get it on. He's right. Oh, he's in the Denver with an absolutely sensational strike. It would have been goal of the season, probably that. All right, let's defend this corner, boys. Bring the keeper out a little bit. That should be the keepers. Nice. Well done. Well held as well. Well held under a lot of pressure. We're just going to hold this a little bit. Waste a bit of time. Play it out wide towards Neri, who literally just came on for Xavier Amechi, so he should be fresh. Fresh enough to play a good ball down the wing towards Vagdeman. Vagdeman cuts inside, plays it through to Quarteng. Quarteng now goes towards the byline, tries to pull it across, but uh, that's not enough. And there is, wait for it, the full-time whistle. Hamburg are through to the next round. Survived a little bit of a scare in the opening half when Darmstadt took the lead. But two second-half goals for Hamburg. One from Quarteng making his debut and a first of the season for Sonny Kittle with a right-footed curler into the top right. Turned the game around and we are through to the second round of the German Cup. All right, so I said and have word on the midfielders that uh, you are going to get the choice of who we should go for. We've got three here. Let's just make sure... All right, then, so we can afford just about all of them. Well, we should just be about to afford all of them. All of them, really young players, uh, 18, 20, and 21. Um, you've got Emil Bohanen. The comment is on the screen right now. You've got Jorith Chotard. Uh, again, comment is on screen right now. And this one is one of my own, Marcos Antonio, um, who looks really decent. So... Those are the three you've got to vote for. Uh, let me know in the comments. So he's 69. He's 69 as well. Um, so yeah, I think all of them. I know Antonio's got a potential of about 85. I think Chotard as well has about 80 potential. Eight, you know, 80s. I'm not sure. I need to look it up. And uh, again, with Bohinen. Uh, so let me know who we are going to buy. Now, the two young strikers I was on about, here they are. You've got Fabio Silva from Wolves. Uh, obviously, they've just bought him in real life for about 35 million, despite the fact that he only played about two games for Benfica or something. And uh, you've got Ricky J. Jones. Now, I think a lot of you will know about Fabio Silva, but I don't think a lot of you will know about Ricky J. Jones. This guy is insane. You can see there, he can play striker, he can play cam, he can play left wing, but he's got about 86 potential. Now, he's only 17. Yes, he's 59 overall. It's not the best starting overall, is it? But this guy will grow into a quality striker, attacking midfielder, or even left winger. You can see where he can play. So, I'm going to buy him. This is, what, this is one for me. <laughs> this one's for me. He's only about, you know, we're going to have to pay about 700 grand for him. So it's a fucking steal. All right, he is here. Ricky J. Jones, R double J, is a Hamburg player. And immediately we've got him in the development center. And I'm turning, in, turning him into a complete striker. This man is going to be insane. He's my little project now. This, this, this is mine. All right. If this one goes wrong, I'll take full blame for it. Yes! Look at that! We've only got and got a big team in the next round of the German Cup. We've only got and got Borussia Dortmund. I don't know why it's so far away. 
we're, we're currently in August, and it's not until like the last week of October for some reason. Why are there? Why is there such a massive gap? So right now, there's only two teams left in this league with a 100% record, and as you can see, it's us and Jan Regensburg uh, right below us. Hanover currently first, but they have drew their last game, I think it was. Uh, so if, if we win this, we go top. Simple as that because our goal difference is insane because we keep on smacking teams. So let's get into this then the last game of the episode away against AUE. Let's get into it. Here we go at, uh, I forgot what they're called to be honest, AUE? AUE. Uh, FC Erzgeberge. If there's any Germans, I'm really sorry. <laughs> there he is, Luis Javier Suarez got four goals in the last game. Can it last league game? Sorry, can he carry that form on today and bag again? All right, so AUE starting with Clowen in goal, a back three of Kalig, Kakatula, and Samson. Uh, the midfield, what the shit is this? Risotto, Isidoro, Jante, Kruger, and Nazarov, and then up top is Testrot and Zelinski. What formation is that? What is that? But we are starting with Ulrich in goal, a back four of Leobold, Jung, big ball bastard at the back, and Giamara. Midfield three of Dudziak, Hunter, and Pospisil, and then the front three of Kittle, Suarez, and Jatta. Ricky J. Jones on the bench, ready to come on if needed and uh, make his debut. So let's get into this. AUE get this game underway. We are off. Let's carry on this 100% record, please, boys. Here's Dudziak. Plays it forward to Suarez. Suarez tries to slip that through to Pospisil. He's won the ball off the defender. Five minutes in. Can Pospisil get a goal? No, he can't. It's a good save by Cluen there. Big hand from the keeper. Denies Pospisil getting an early goal. Good tackle by Leobold there. Up to Dudziak. To Pospisil. To Luis Suarez. Suarez now to Dudziak. Dudziak to Suarez again. Suarez, here we go. He's just going to go for a little run. Luis Suarez, wide of the post. Hunt out wide to Giamara. Giamara, we're just going to hit an early ball here. And it's to watch Pospisil. It's a fantastic volley to turn that on target. That was insane. <laughs> Look at this. Just jumps and then bang. It's a sensational volley. And that is trickling in just about, I think. I'm not too sure, but the keeper there, he wasn't to know. Tips it round for a corner. Oh, this is dodgy. Zelinski over the top towards Nazarov. Goes wide to Risotto. I think that's it. I don't know. Oh, he's open. Ulrike gets there just about. Jatter up the line towards Pospisil. Can he win that? Yes, he can. Pospisil now puts it in the middle. What the fuck was that? Oh, we're going to have to make some changes. I can't, I can't think of a player who's actually performed well today. Do we want a target man into Roddy or do we want Jones as that, you know, you can see he's absolutely rapid. Oh, actually, I say we do both. I say we put Tarodi up through the middle. We play Jones on the left because he can play there. All right, here he comes, though. The two attacking changes have been made. Tarodi comes on and also behind him just about. He's gone off the screen now. Ricky J. Jones on for his debut and he's just headed the ball there. RJJ is here. His post is up. Here's Ricky J. Jones. Plays it out wide to Leobold. Leobold. Ball in the middle towards Tarotti. That's such a dead touch. Here's Ricky J. Jones now. Just going to get his head down and get in a crossing position. Cuts back. Aims it towards Tarotti. There you go. There you go. That's why we made the changes. Mark Ferg Masterclass has just taken place. The two subs linking up. And I even said, do we want the speed or do we want the target man? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll have both. Ricky J. Jones with the assist. Tarotti with the goal. And that's exactly why we put those there. To Roddy there, just getting in front of his man. He's absolutely massive. He wins headers all the time, does this guy. So it's good that we've got him in the back if we ever need him. If it's just a hoof and hope game, that man is there. And there we go. Simon Tarodi or Tarod, I still don't know how to say your last name, has got what looks to be the winner. So unless AUE want to fly forward, they've booted one. This will be the last attack of the game. They need to get it in the middle. And there you go, Giamara. Please tell me that's a goal kick. If you blew the whistle, I do believe he has. Full time then. And that was a close one. It's an absolute masterclass from him. Absolute masterclass. His two, his two subs 
absolutely changed the game. Taroddy comes on, has one shot, scores it. Ricky J. John comes on, has one meaningful contribution and gets the assist. It's a, it, was a, it was a close one, probably the closest game we've had so far, but we still come out on top and we still maintain our 100% record in the Bundesliga 2. Bundesliga Zwei? Is Zwei 2 in German? I think it is. Alright, so we're going to sim this game against VfL Osnabrück um, just to finish this episode off and we'll do the, uh, the we'll view the entire sim and uh, if it looks like it's going to go wrong, we'll jump in and try and fix that. <laughs> Forward, don't lose it there, don't lose it there. You're being surrounded there, lad. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Fucking hell. There you go, Jada. Put a ball in. There you go, Suarez. Oh, why has he squared it? Did he square that or did he did he get tackled? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think I've ever seen, when I'm simming it, a team miss once they get a shot in on the, in the in the box. I've never seen a keeper make a save, I think. Lads, you're being dominated. Go on, Jada. Get that in. Get that in the middle. Uh, go on. Hit it. Hit it. Yes. There you go. That'll do. Oh, he's just went and lost it. Dudziak just went and lost it in the middle of the pitch. And now, how have you left him? Get rid of it. I don't want to jump in when we don't have the ball. But I think I'm going to have to jump in soon. Because it's getting to the last 10 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, I'll jump in now. I'll jump in for the last 12 minutes or so. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Well, you've got a, you've got a bonus 10 minutes of a match. So, congrats. Suarez to Leobald, Leobald to Kittle, Kittle in the middle, Post Brazil, I am absolutely fucking quality at this game, I am a game changer, I am absolutely quality, I am sick, I'll come back, I am sick at this game, look at me, I come in, two minutes, I score, I score, I'm, I'm you know what, I'm absolutely solid at this game, and you know what, Pospers with a goal. He's starting to become a goal scorer. I'm off. I'll see you later. I'll sim the rest of the match. If they bottle this, I'm going to fucking scream. If you lads make me jump in again, I swear to God, I'm, I will not be happy. There you go. Hold the ball. There you go. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. Jack there. Pull it across. Pull it across. Pull it across. Don't pull it across then. Mate, I am absolutely quality. I am sick. Yeah, I did get the job done, thanks. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use the jump-in mechanic to your advantage. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I'm going to finish it for today. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be back next week for the next episode of this save. And when we come back, we will be doing the Hamburg Derby, one of the most fierce derbies in German football. It's a derby that pretty much shuts down the city of Hamburg for a weekend. It is insane. You've got marches going on. It's absolutely quality. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to finish it for today. If you didn't jump a shot, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you. If you want to follow me on Twitter or anything at all, links, as always, are in the description down below. But that is all I've got for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Stay safe, wash your hands. And until next time, have a nice day. Oh, yeah, I'm not, 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 I